Hi there, my name is Dr. Desi and I'm one of the doctors in the clinic today. Uh, could I just start by checking your name and date of birth, please? Yeah, of course. So, uh, it's Sandra, Sandra Parker, mm -hmm. and it's the 3rd of May, 1968. Okay, that's great, mm -hmm. thank you. And how are you doing today, Sandra? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good. Uh, a bit tired. Um, I said to the doctor that I saw a couple of weeks ago, um, just been feeling a bit tired, probably overworking, but okay. yeah, apart from that, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm good, thank you. Okay, good. So I've had a read of your notes, and from what I can see, you originally went to see Dr. Williams about this lump in your breast that you'd noticed over yeah. the past few months, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And as a result, Dr. Williams has arranged some additional investigations and scans, is that right? Yeah, I did a... I think it was a scan and a, they took something away, took yeah. a biopsy or, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And did Dr. Williams discuss what we might be looking for with these investigations? Yeah, it was a, a really informative conversation. Um, there was, obviously, um, there was talk about, rightly so, you, you know, doctors need to be really diligent obviously and just rule out anything sinister like cancer mm -hmm. but um, yeah just a conversation about that most of the time I can't remember the percentage mm -hmm. but it's quite high that just most of the time it's usually um, like a benign cyst mm -hmm. or like some a lump of fatty fat or fatty tissue mm -hmm. yeah it was, a, it was a really informative conversation Okay, so yes, that's right. So as Dr. Williams mentioned, there are um, lots and lots of different causes of lumps in the breast. Some of them are benign, so like you said, cysts, fatty tissue, mm. that kind of thing. Um, but unfortunately, we'd always want to make sure it's not going to be something more sinister, of like course. cancer, as you mentioned. Um, are you happy for me to discuss the results of your investigations with you today? Yes, of course, of yeah. course, yeah, yeah. Is, is there anyone that you'd like to be in with you today? No, no, I'm, no. I'm fine, thank you. Okay, <laughs> and um, how much detail do you, do you like to know? Do you want me to you know, go into the full details or do you prefer just kind of the basics? Um, I suppose just, you know, knowing what what the lump is, okay. is a start, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm afraid it's not the news that we were hoping for, unfortunately. The scan results have shown that the lump in your breast is cancer. I'm really sorry, Sandra. Um, S sorry? So, from the scans, we can see that the lump is breast cancer. I'm, I'm so sorry to have to tell you this. Can I, see, I can see it's quite a big shock for you. But, um... <laughs> I, I don't see how it can be. I mean, it's, it's not to be rude, but, um... You know, as I, as I was saying, the, the conversation that we had, mm. um, that I had, you know, a couple of weeks back with Dr. Williams, um, you know, the majority, and that's mm. why women are, aren't they, encouraged mm. to come? Because obviously we all worry about things, mm -hmm. but, you know, um, the majority of the time it is just a, as we said, you know, like a lumpy, fatty cyst. <laughs> and those are more common generally in the population, but unfortunately in your case, um, it's not one of those benign causes. It is, it is cancer, I'm afraid. But are, are you really sure about that? I'm not to, you know, the, but you know, I am really, I am really healthy. Mm -hmm. I I run. I, mm -hmm. I I don't smoke. I have never smoked. Mm -hmm. um, I don't even I don't even inhale smoke. You know, yeah. no nobody really smokes mm -hmm. these days. Um, yeah, I, I don't drink. I um, th so I I don't really un I I don't see how. I, I think it must be wrong. I I think somehow um, not to. No, no. I wouldn't be cross, but I I think probably, you know. I mean, you know, they, 
don't they, in the delivery um, suite, they've, you hear stories of them, you know, m mixing up babies. So I can, I won't be cross and I can really see how, you know, they, they could have got, um, you know, my, my results, um, you know, muddled up or something. I don't think so, Sandra, I'm afraid. I know this is quite a shock and not the news we're expecting, but we are quite certain that those are the right results. And it's nothing that you have done. It's not to do with your lifestyle. It's not something you could have prevented. Unfortunately, some people are just unlucky and they do develop cancer. But they can treat it, can't they? You, you know, you, you hear lots of stories about people who... Um, and surely if I'm fit and healthy, that has to be, that has to help, doesn't it? Not be some like really bad um, state of cancer. So is it something that they can, you, you know, just um, take out, remove and be done with? Is, is that what they well, will, will do? So there's lots of different treatments available for breast cancer. Um, we need to get a few more investigations first to know what would be the right course of treatment. But yes, so sometimes they might take the lump out, they might remove the breasts, there might be chemotherapy or radiotherapy involved as well. So there's lots of options. Um, but like I said, we need some more information about the type of the cancer and how severe it is before we can start making plans. So, um, so what next? Okay, so the next steps are, I'll refer you to see the breast cancer specialist who will see you within the next couple of weeks and they'll arrange some further tests to work out what kind of cancer it is and the severity so that we can decide what, what we need to do in terms of treatment for the cancer. Could it have spread anywhere else? I don't know that at the minute. So it might have done? It could have done, but we won't know that until we've got these extra tests which will tell us if the cancer has spread. But I haven't felt, you know, um, I haven't felt any lumps anywhere yeah. else. I, I, I mean, I, I do feel just a little bit tired, but yeah. I'm sure that's more to do with just, you know, the end of term. Mm. I, I don't feel pains, um, lumps, there's nothing, yeah. you know, that looks abnormal mm -hmm. and you know and this lump is it, I mean it's not really that big either you, you know it, it doesn't protrude it, it doesn't um... and, and that's good that you've not been feeling unwell in yourself I'm glad that you're not feeling unwell in any mm -hmm. way but we'd still need to do those scans just to check to make absolutely sure so that we can make sure that you're on the right treatment yeah. and it's going to do what mm -hmm. we need it to do I mean, I, they are going to be able to treat it, aren't they? I mean, it's not like, I mean, I, would I wouldn't die so. from it, would I? I mean, it's not, I mean, it's not, it, it can't. I, 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 I really hope we don't get to that stage. And I think, you know, hopefully we've caught it at a time where we will be able to treat and manage it and you'll be able to get but through I'm this. I'm 54 years old, I, you know, I yeah. mean... I can't say for certain. All we can do is get those investigations and hopefully we'll be able to treat it. I just don't want to give you, you know, the wrong information. Sorry, um, I mean, what, what do I... Uh, I mean, you know, I, I work. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I can't just... Um, I mean, I can't just not go to work. Yeah. I mean, we've got... Um, I mean, you know, my my partner works, but you know, we we share that mortgage. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, we've got lots of contacts. We've got the breast cancer specialist nurse and lots of support groups, and there's lots of um, help available for people in your situation. So I can definitely put you in contact with those because you know that's not something additional that you need to be having to worry about as well. You know, the thing was, I um, I did feel this a few months ago, mm. and you know, my partner did say, mm -hmm. get yourself to the doctors, yeah. and 
it wasn't that I wasn't being responsible, yeah, but you know, it's difficult, isn't it, to get time off work mm. and marking for students. It was mm -hmm. end of term. You don't want to let them down. And uh, um, I just wish I'd, I don't know, maybe I should have gone sooner. And then, then you know, maybe if I'd come sooner, it, it wouldn't have spread. I mean, if it has spread, maybe I could have stopped it from... I think it's easy to say all of this now in hindsight, but the important thing is you're here now and we're going to do everything that we need yeah. to do to get you through this. We don't know whether it has or hasn't spread or anything like that yet. So yeah. the important thing is to just let's just focus on what other things that we need to mm -hmm. do. We need you to see the breast cancer specialist and get these extra tests and then decide what treatments we need to do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's Thank absolutely you. fine. Do you have any other questions at the minute? Um, no, I, I, you've, mm -hmm. you've been great. Um, no, I, I'll just, um, yeah, that, that's, that's, yeah, I'm okay for now. Thank okay. you. Well, I'll give you a call tomorrow, like I said, just so if you have got any questions that you haven't thought of, then, um, you know, jot them down on a bit of paper and then we can go through them again tomorrow and similarly you know if you want me to speak to your partner or any of your family members um, I'm absolutely happy to do that as well um, so just get in touch if you need us we're all here to support you thank you so much You're welcome thank you if you enjoyed this video check out the geeky medics collection of over 500 oski stations and put your oski skills to the test you can practice with friends create your own study group, or team up with another member of the Geeky Medics community with our OSCE Match feature. Sign up today to access our selection of free OSCE stations.